There has to be a way inside the ship. I'll radio when I've secured a path. There's no place beyond the anomaly. Why are we still heading to this stupid ship? If the signal is shielded from the anomaly inside, it means we can use the uplink in there to contact the Flores. All the supplies, the resources, the tech, we're gonna bring them down today. Not done going through hell yet. When the pack started to flee the city, Monroy rounded up every last one of them that stayed behind, that were loyal and trusted, and threw them into these labor camps. But I know of the packs, they could not have survived long in there. It was all Monroy. When he understood the packs were turning into ferals, he sent out an order to murder them all before they could transform. All of them. All but enough to run his camp. Monroy returned to the city to find it under siege. They battled for days, a complete bloodbath. And then, another storm hit. Monroy's people were decimated. That's when they spotted the Flores in orbit and called for help. They started broadcasting the signal. But it couldn't get through. Help never came. And Monroy ordered a retreat to their ship and locked it down.
All this time, all we've been through, the battlefields, the jungles, the alien ruins, the desert, all we've lost. I can't believe we're finally here. The goddamn signal I heard the day we landed. And still, none of it makes any sense. Oh, I think I'm starting to put it all together. The way the Pax controlled the anomaly with their obelisks. They are what kept the planet's energy in check. They were the balance. But when Monroy stopped the Pax from using the obelisks out of pure fear of what he couldn't understand, the anomaly spread like wildfire across the planet, the storm surging out of control, mutating everything. All this time, they we were gonna reach a place beyond the anomaly. Only to find the place it all started. Where Monroy started it. They're the ones who got left behind. And half of them probably slaughtered the rest for a last seat on the caravel. Tanner and Yakov, we all should have been down there with the rest. Hopeless, drowning in chaos, nothing but dictators and madmen set loose. If the caravel's engine hadn't exploded and killed most of the outriders... We would have been the ones left on Earth. Two more soldiers in Monroe's damn army, fighting for any way off the Earth. Coming here to slaughter the packs and screwing up the whole damn planet before you all ever set foot on it. I'm inside the ship. It's still operational. Whatever's playing the signal, it's in here. Let's finish this together. Let's finish this. The end of the road, one way or another. Despite everything, we've brought the uplink all this way. I wish Jane could see us. Whatever's playing the signal, it's in here. Let's finish this together.
Look, it's exactly as I saw it, as we saw it. Jana, that's not real. That's this planet, all right, but it's long gone. No. No, it's... Get the fuck off! It's... Today. You okay? Oh. You, you're here. I, I, I imagined this so many times. Never you. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Nimroy? But how? How did you, how did this ship get here before us? How do you think? You people left us to die as the earth crumbled. But I don't die so easy, do I? No, we built a, a new engine. An engine that, that shamed all others before it. So while you were still crawling through deep space, we were already here. <laughs> oh, you should have seen it. Their primitive civilization, the natives, they treated us like gods. Yeah. I've seen what you did to the natives. Oh, oh. I see now. This isn't a rescue. Why didn't you come when we sent out the distress call? Huh? Thirty years since the Flores arrived in our skies. Thirty years surviving in this hell. This hell was because of you. My entire life trapped in that valley, slaughtering each other for nothing. You robbed our people of hope before we even got here. Now don't flatter yourselves. You were as capable of every wickedness. The packs weren't as docile as they looked. They had powers, so much power. Things I had to understand. So you just rounded them up? You tortured them, you son of a bitch. Are you really so naive? How long before those creatures tired of us? Before they turned against us? They would have had us on our bloody knees. All that I wanted was their powers, for us, for all of us, so that we could survive, so we could be strong. Don't you see? We lost the Earth because we were meant for something more. But for the grace of I go you, my child. Do you think that you would be standing there with the powers of a god if it hadn't been for me? All that I've done for humanity. I saved us. You cursed us. But I won. It's done. Fuck him. No more wasting time. I have to tap the uplink into the Caravel's power so we can reach the floor as before we... Shit. You found us. We gotta go. No, no, leave me. I have to do this. Do what you gotta do, Doc. That door won't hold long. Outrider, if that beast cracks this ship's hull, we lose electronics, we lose the pods, we lose everything. I'll take care of it. You just get those pods down.
Tahiti? What's happening in there? It's working! I've contacted the Flores. Transmitting the first launch codes. Now! Almost there! Almost there! Zahini, get, get out of there! We have to leave! I can't! I have to transmit the code! No! Damn it! Signal, the uplink. It was all for nothing. Wait, guys, look. Over there. The pods? It worked? You did it. My God. I guess some of the commands went through after all. Well, like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> what the hell? When Roy's people? No, I don't think so. Who are you? We're from the war zone. Are you the Outriders? We heard tales about an altered outriders opening the frontier, finding a cure in the forest. We've been following your trail since the war zone. So, what now? We keep moving.
Walkers did it. 